Hey guys and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review for the game Bad Landlord. This is a 3 to 8 player game, ages 12 and up, and in this game you're playing as a bad landlord. You're going to be drawing cards from this deck of red cards here, and then the judge is going to flip over one of these guys here, the tenants of the deck. Uh, these guys are kind of um, a little little gross, a little weird, not, not the greatest of tenants, and a player's going to play cards, uh, and the judge is going to judge based on what card reflects the tenant best and what you need to do to that tenant as the landlord. And then a uh, play will pass to the left of the judge, being the new judge, and rinse and repeat, people will draw back up to their hand of uh, seven, what is it, four, five, six, seven cards, and then you're going to rinse and repeat up until the point where somebody gets six victory points. Basically six of the tenants become theirs for being the uh, judge's choice. And that's pretty much the idea of the game. It's very similar to games like... Cards Against Humanity. And one more. It's a kid game. It's a family friendly one. Those one before Cards Against Humanity. I don't know. Apples to Apples? Have you ever heard oh, of that yeah. one? Yeah, Apples yeah, to Apples. One. It's very, very similar to those games, but it's got a little bit more of a story basis. We'll explain the setup of the game, which is going to be really quick, and then, of course, how to play in our review. To set up the game, you will shuffle both decks of cards. Everyone will draw seven from the red deck, and then the judge will reveal one black card. And that's the setup. That's it. It's pretty simple, right? Now how to play is a slight tidbit more complex. Uh, basically you're going to be uh, having to choose a judge to start with. And with that card out in the field, the tenant, the judge is going to wait while each player chooses one of the cards in their hand to play down. And so for instance, in this situation, it might be a resourceful repair. Ozzy heaved a decorative concrete pumpkin through his living room window. But he says he patched it up nicely. You see that he has taped some old cereal boxes over the hole. And so if I were the judge, each player would go ahead and with their seven cards in hand, choose one of the cards and place it face down, which will then be shuffled up. So go ahead and pick one of your cards and put it face down. I'm going to pick this one. Good choice. These cards will get sh shuffled, shuffled randomly so that nobody knows what the cards are. The judge will then reveal them one at a time. Mm, the first one here says, bake them some cookies, deliver them with a sleazy love poem. That's what the landlord would do to this specific tenant, the cereal box taper. And then the other one here says, tell them you're not a real landlord. You just called the number on one of those real estate investor seeks apprentice signs. You have absolutely no, no idea what to do. And so... The judge is going to go, hmm, which one sounds better? And I'd be like, okay, I want to, I'd rather see them get a, a baked a cookie <laughs> plate with a sleazy love letter. And so if I were the judge, I'd pick this one, the player who put this one down, which happens to be me, is going to be the winner. Um, no, I put that one. Nope, 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 nope. Happens to be me. No. Okay, fine. Maybe you did. But either way, <laughs> the person who put it down is going to be the one who is going to win. And let's say that she won just for the sake of argument, wink, wink, <laughs> uh, they would get this card here. And the judge would then pass to the next player. Each player will then draw one of these cards here, her being the judge, will flip this over, and then a new situation would appear, the man cave one. And you'd rinse and repeat. It's a really simple, straightforward game that is basically all about determining what to do with all of these sleazy tenants. So Bad Landlord is basically like a Cards Against Humanity, apples to apples type of a game, but it has a unique difference. It's gonna have the different tenants, and the different tenants are going to have unique pieces of art along with a unique story uh, that captivates you. You're gonna have different choices along these guys here. Uh, for instance, we'll just read a few of them out. Re re renig and Intimate. Intimidate. <laughs> Intimate. Priscilla gives notice to move out. You sign a lease with a new tenant. Then Priscilla refuses to leave. You show up at her place and her dad is there trying to intimidate you. Wow. Uh, maybe uh, you notify Priscilla that you need to stop by for an appraisal. Priscilla doesn't tell her roommates. You wake one of them up and when you enter and scare her half to death, Priscilla threatens to sue. Uh, a trash man. Man, Axel hasn't taken his trash out in about a year. He just bags it up and leaves it in his apartment. It has attracted an infestation of vermin, and so on and so forth. So these are all like not the greatest people you want to have living in your apartment building. And then you have ways to deal with them. Uh, suggest that you attend counseling together. You say you need some advice for your love life and that you'll discount their rent if they can give you a few good ideas. Sing them a sappy love song. Ask them if they have any ideas for a new game you're making called Bad Landlord. Threaten to spend their entire security deposit on VIP tickets uh, to the circus if they don't knock it off. And so on and so forth. Stare intensely into their eyes and say nothing. <laughs> so, yeah, these cards are all pretty funny. I, I enjoyed uh, going through the game. Um, 
Yes, it feels pretty similar, same, same to the old uh, judging games, but the interactions are a lot better. This is a game that's going to have a little bit more of a teen to adult style feel, but it's not too uh, dirty or dark. You can play this with mm -hmm. pretty much anybody after the age of 11 or 12, I would say. Grandmas could jump in on play with. I think my grandma would enjoy the uh, sense of humor of this game, so it'd be okay for her. But the Cards Against Humanity would be too much, right? Yeah. And then the interactions, too, are really really interesting because some cards mm -hmm. work better than others right it's not about just the funniest one it's the funniest one for the situation yeah yeah and there's like a whole story that goes with each tenant and each red card that you can play so there's a lot more that you can add to the story than like cards against humanity and apples to apples yeah and you can imagine like that it's kind of like point of reference and then what happens and then yeah. you can imagine the story and how it would unfold and as a landlord you can determine is this the best way to kind of make this tenant suffer in some way for making you suffer it's basically not just bad landlords but bad tenants or just in general bad people these are all bad people they're not good people uh, they're all doing dastardly dirty deeds to each other and it's kind of like oh you did this to me this is how I'm going to repay you and so you're constantly kind of uh, treating each other poorly which I mean is kind of the point of the game and it's based on mm -hmm. the most humorous and probably most logical situation you wouldn't just pick something that's uh, just funny because it's funny if it relates not to the situation at all I think most judges would be not as interested whereas in Cards Against Humanity or those other type of games you can just play whatever as long as it sounds funny the BBC or whatever you know those statements are you know and oh, that's funny I picked that or bees oh that's super funny I picked that this one here has a bit more of a story more detailed outline as to why you want to pick the cards you mm -hmm. want to pick but overall in general this is fairly samey you're gonna get a very similar to experience from this game to the other game uh, or other games in this genre uh, with the unique experience of the art and the story and how you would attach the story together you're basically mm -hmm. making a mini story in addition to the judging game itself yeah. Um, yeah it's a fun game this is one that I could easily see bringing out it's gonna be a very specific niche group of people I would bring this out to though still yes I know that it's pretty much anybody can play it but I think only specific people will find the humor funny of what these guys are up to and what <laughs> you can do to them what yeah. about you what do you think yeah, the artwork is really gross looking, but I think it really works for it. It makes it like you can see how gross the tenants could be and it really adds to the story, I feel like. Oh yeah, they're all nasty. Like yeah. all these people are, are awful people. <laughs> This one's Priscilla's the one. She's got Daddy's girl on her head as a hat, and then it's the intent to sue. And basically, she's always out to get you in yeah. some way legally. <laughs> some other guys are interested in actually messing up the house intentionally, uh, as opposed to the garbage person who just likes to keep garbage around. I know I knew a guy actually who kept boxes in my old um, apartment building, uh, in my old like uh, my, the room before I moved into it. It was just covered with boxes, cardboard, trash. They just hoarded all this stuff, and so. A lot of these situations, I actually think they probably existed at some point in real life, even yeah. though they're just made up. Because there are gross, weirdo people like this that have just, it's just nasty all over the Inspired place. Inspired by real stories. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and so I think that's also why I found this game extra hilarious, because I could imagine uh, some of my friends and, of course, some of the previous tenants in my other locations as being these people. Or at least maybe these are exaggerated versions of them, yeah. which I, I appreciated. So Bad Landlord is a fun, little, solid judging game. But with the caveat that it's still going to be a judging game. And for those of you who are not interested in party games like this, who don't like the style of humor, don't like the gross tenets and you having to be, everybody being a bad person, it might not be for you. But for those of you who are bad people, just like <laughs> me, then it's probably going to be a fun game for you. It's something that you can bring out for parties and something that's a little different than the other basic judging games. Thank you for watching another Unfiltered Gamer board game review. If you like this video, comment, like it, subscribe. Hit that bell notification button. Yeah. And uh, check out the website as well. What is it? Website. Unfilteredgamer.com. Yeah, there's blog posts, giveaways, Kickstarter lists, and more. What else do we do? We do a live stream every Sunday at 6.30 p.m. PST. PST. And if you'd like, you can watch us play games just like this one here. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, I look forward to... Being a bad landlord with you next time. Yeah, oh, that's a good one. <laughs> <laughs>